What's more amazing than a talking poodle? A spelling bee. The poodle most likely originated in Germany, although the Federation Sinologique Internationale and a minority of sinologists believe it originated in France. The standard poodle was originally used by wildfowl hunters to retrieve game from water. The smaller varieties of the breed were bred from the original in France where they were once commonly used as circus performers, but have become popular companion dogs. Due to their intelligence, obedient nature, athleticism and looks the poodle was frequently employed in circuses, particularly in France. The toy poodle was created at the beginning of the 20th century when breeders again bred the miniature poodle down in size to create a popular companion dog. The last of the poodle varieties to be recognized was the medium poodle, which in size is midway in between the standard and the miniature poodle. Not universally recognized by the world's kennel clubs, the medium poodle is recognized by the FCI and most continental European kennel clubs. One of the reasons for creating this fourth size variety is believed to be a desire to reduce the number of entries of poodles by variety at confirmation shows. The poodle is an active, athletic breed with the different varieties differing mostly by their size. The FCI's breed standard states the standard poodle stands between 45 and 62 cm, 18 and 24 in, the medium poodle between 35 and 45 cm, 14 and 18 in, the miniature poodle between 28 and 35 cm, 11 and 14 in, and the toy poodle 24 and 28 cm, 9.4 and 11.0 in. A healthy adult standard poodle typically weighs between 20 and 32 kilograms, 44 and 71 pounds, a medium poodle between 15 and 19 kilograms, 33 and 42 pounds, a miniature poodle between 12 and 14 kilograms, 26 and 31 pounds, and a toy poodle between 6.5 and 7.5 kilograms, 14 and 17 pounds. Poodles have thick, curly coats with harsh fur. A pet owner can anticipate grooming a poodle every 4 to 8 weeks. Poodles are often cited as a hypoallergenic dog breed. Their individual hair follicles have an active growth period that is longer than that of many other breeds, combined with the tightly curled coat, which slows the loss of dander and dead hair by trapping it in the curls, an individual poodle may release less dander and hair into the environment. However, researchers have generally not found a difference in allergens across breeds. The poodle has a wide variety of coloring, including white, black, brown, silver, apricot and red. A party poodle has patches of any accepted solid color over a white coat. Phantom poodles have a solid mane color with a lighter color appearing on their eyebrows, muzzle and throat, legs and feet and below their tail. Poodles are a highly intelligent, energetic, and sociable breed. A 1994 study by Stanley Corey ranked them second out of 110 breeds in intelligence. They are an active dog, requiring regular physical and intellectual activities. Shyness or sharpness is considered a serious fault in the breed. Though not suitable as a guard dog because it is neither a territorial breed nor particularly aggressive, poodles tend to be protective of their families and are good with children. A standard poodle can be a lot of trouble for a first-time dog owner. I'd recommend an automatic poodle. Okay. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more bad jokes and general knowledge about dogs.